Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about an idea or an observation that I've made that has profound implications for a lot of different aspects of life. I have found it useful for overcoming depression, but it's also useful for solving problems, it's also useful for dealing with situations of interpersonal conflict, and it can be useful to just get a more empowering mindset in life, a more positive mindset where you feel happier and you get more done. And the key observation I made is that when dealing with a problem or a sort of negative experience, a situation that you feel negatively about, it's much more empowering if you get specific about the things that are negative rather than see them in these sort of broad general terms. I'm going to give some examples of this. This is something that I've seen a lot with students. I've tutored a lot of students in math. One thing that I see is a lot of students will say, I suck at math, I'm bad at math, I'm not good at math. Like they'll be working on a problem, and in many cases they'll be going through an assignment and like they do one, one thing after another, and then they get stuck on one, and then they're like, oh man, I suck at math, or something like that. And in reality, when I'm looking like from the outside, they're just having a hard time on this one problem. I'm someone who has a master's degree in applied math, and I have a master's degree in statistics. So I've done a tremendous amount of very difficult math at the graduate level. I get stuck on math all the time. Uh, I taught Calc 1 and Calc 2. I've studied things way beyond that, and I still get stuck on problems at that level. I sometimes get stuck on basic algebra problems sometimes. Sometimes things are just tricky, and I'm not necessarily like a super genius at math. Part of the reason that I've done so well at math is that I believe that I'm good at it, so I'm able to sort of persevere. So a lot of it is this sort of approach. If you think about the experience you're having in the moment in a more specific way, it'll be more empowering. So I find often when I tutor kids, I don't actually need to teach them any math at all. It's more like a psychology thing, and sort of like coaching. Like if I'm like, hey, um, so what are you having trouble with with this one problem? And I start asking them questions to get them thinking and focusing in a more specific way. I found in most of the cases, people actually work through the problem on their own. And I think that's really awesome, but I think that it sort of has this deep life lesson in there. I want to give another example from something really difficult, and this is something that has come up with me uh, when I was struggling with depression, but I also see other people voice this thing a lot. Uh, one problem that I've struggled with is sometimes in the evening or something, I might be lonely, and I might reach out to people. So I might call people, or text people, or try to reach out over the internet. And I meet, might reach out to a few friends, and no one gets back to me, or no one's available to talk. Or like, I might want to do something with people during the coming days, and like, no one's available to make plans. Uh, and I start feeling really bad. And I've noticed that when I feel really bad, it's often because I'm thinking things like, I can't depend on my friends, uh, no one likes me. I start thinking these broad, negative thoughts like that. And they won't necessarily be true. Like, a lot of people out there like me. I know that because people have told me that, and people have shown me that through their actions. But I think sometimes when I have these experiences of like a few things don't turn out how I want, if I'm in a kind of depressed mindset, I can like overgeneralize them. So for me, getting out of that depression, uh, one of the ways that I can do that is to focus on specifics. Like if I can focus on, hey, I've called this person, and I've texted this person, and they haven't gotten back to me, and I feel sad and a little bit lonely. If I just focus on that specific thought, it's not as overwhelming. I might not necessarily feel great, I might still feel sad and lonely, but it's not like this crippling depression that I feel when I'm having thoughts like, no one likes me, no one cares about me, I can't depend on my friends, those sort of broad negative things like that. So this idea of when there's a problem, when we feel frustrated, when we feel stuck, when we feel sad, uh, when we feel anything that's bad, 
if we can narrow the scope, if we can focus on specifics, that can be really empowering. So I hope that you found this useful, I hope that you'll be able to put this idea to use in your life. Uh, I would love to hear from you if you have comments, I would love to hear examples if you have other examples that you want to share. Uh, and as usual, I always love when people subscribe or share my videos. Thank you!